Hello, and welcome to the 13th in my series, Proverbially Speaking, which are reflections on verses from the book of Proverbs. If you are enjoying my series, please hit the like button at the bottom. And if you're not subscribed yet to the Northfield Church of Christ, consider subscribing where you can find other content such as our Sunday morning worship services, our Sunday morning Bible studies, and Mark's Sunday evening services, <clears throat> where he sings and brings you an extra lesson. So let me start again, as I usually do with a prayer. Our loving and kind Father, I thank you for your patience and the grace that you bestow upon your children. Be with me now and bless me that my thoughts may be pleasing and acceptable to you. It is in your name that I pray. Amen. All right, so what I want to look at today are a few verses from Proverbs 26, and they read, Like a madman who throws firebrands, arrows, and death, so is the man who deceives his neighbor and says, Was I not joking? For lack of wood, the fire goes out, and where there is no whisperer, contention quiets down. Like charcoal to hot embers and wood to fire, so is a contentious man to kindle strife. So there are a few messages here in this passage. You have the idea of deception. Uh, there is a whisperer, the rumor spreader, as you will. Uh, there is the contentious man, the one who simply causes trouble. He is likened to a madman, not in his not right mind and crazy for strife crazy to hurt others. Young's literal translation translates the madman as one pretending to be feeble. A little different here because he's putting on an act to create discord. What struck me most in these verses is, and says, was I not joking? How many times have you encountered this? A person says something hurtful, then follows up saying, it was only a joke. The famous writer Maya Angelou talked about this many years ago. She said it is how a person tries to take a piece of you. She called it getting pecked to death by ducks. She realized that it was a small way in which a person tries to own you, tries to put you down. She said that when people do this, you need to immediately say, stop it. Don't allow the person to take that valuable piece of you and keep on taking pieces of you. Do not give them the wood and the fire goes out. It may be difficult to be confrontational for something so seemingly small. I mean, they said it was only a joke. But it is important not only to you, but to this contentious man to know it is not acceptable to do so. I hope these thoughts created thoughts of your own and, and created prayers that you can use to uh, help yourself here. Thank you for listening, and I will talk to you again soon.